Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about xerophthalmia or vitamin A deficiency. This is a concise presentation for medical students. The term zero means dry and ophthalmia means eye. Xerophthalmia is abnormal dryness of the conjunctiva and cornea of the eye with inflammation and ridge formation typically associated with vitamin A deficiency. The ocular manifestations of vitamin A deficiency are generally referred to as xerophthalmia. The term xerophthalmia is reserved to cover all the ocular manifestations of vitamin A deficiency including structural changes affecting the conjunctiva, cornea and occasionally retina and also the biophysical disorders of retinal rods and cones. These pictures show the various stages of xerophthalmia. Now let us see about the etiology of xerophthalmia. Vitamin A deficiency can occur due to dietary deficiency of vitamin A or due to defective absorption of vitamin A from the gut. Now let us see about the WHO classification of xerophthalmia. XN stands for night blindness. It is the earliest manifestation of vitamin A deficiency. X1 stands for conjunctival xerosis. It is further subdivided into X1A and X1B. X1A is conjunctival xerosis and X1B is conjunctival xerosis with bite out spots. X2 is corneal xerosis. X3 is corneal ulceration. X3 is further subdivided into X3A and X3B. X3A is corneal ulceration or keratomalacia affecting less than one third of corneal surface and X3B is corneal ulceration or keratomalacia affecting more than one third of corneal surface. XS is corneal scar and XF is xerophthalmic fundus. A special note on bite out spots. Bite out spots are the buildup of keratin located superficially in the conjunctiva. Bite out spots are raised silvery white foamy triangular patches of keratinized epithelium situated on the bulbar conjunctiva in the interpalpebral area. Bite out spots are usually bilateral and they are located on the temporal side. The foamy aspect of bite out spots is attributable to colonization by gas producing bacteria like Carnibacterium xerosis. Now let us see about the treatment of xerophthalmia. Treatment of xerophthalmia includes local ocular therapy, vitamin A therapy and treatment of underlying condition. Local ocular therapy includes artificial tears for conjunctival xerosis and full-fledged treatment of bacterial corneal ulcer in cases of keratomalacia. Coming to vitamin A therapy, 2 lakh international units can be administered orally or 1 lakh international units can be administered as intramuscular injection immediately on diagnosis and they should be repeated the following day and 4 weeks later. In cases of children less than 1 year old or in cases of children weighing less than 8 kg, the dose should be reduced by half. For women of reproductive age, if they suffer from night blindness or conjunctival xerosis, 10,000 international units should be given once daily orally. If they suffer from corneal xerosis or anything serious than that, a full dosage schedule should be given as given here. Treatment of underlying condition is also important in the management of xerophthalmia. Now let us see about the prophylaxis for xerophthalmia. Short term approach includes dosage schedules for children. The first dose is given at 9 months of age along with measles vaccine. In this dose, 1 lakh international units of vitamin A is administered. In the second dose, 2 lakh international units of vitamin A is administered at 1 and a half years along with booster dose of DPT or OPV. The two, third dose is given at 2 years of age. In this dose, 2 lakh international units of vitamin A is given. The medium term approach includes food fortification with vitamin A. The long term approach should be the ultimate goal. It includes promotion of adequate intake of vitamin A rich foods such as carrot, mango, green leafy vegetables, papaya, etc. This picture shows the various food items rich in vitamin A. Thank you.